this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we're looking at ticker symbol MGT. Okay, uh, up 28% today. Uh, really nice follow through. This is a, a nice three day run. Um, as you can see here on uh, Monday, there, there was this uh, gap up open. You see, uh, there's a there's a gap on the chart between high of day on the sixth and low of day on the ninth. And then uh, the gap up open was uh, followed by a pullback. As you can see, this uh, black candle, solid green candle formed. And then there was a nice recovery yesterday. The uh, share price actually closed above. Um, the, the candles are riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher. As you can see uh, today, uh, th there was a big follow through. Today's candle is forming above the upper Bollinger Band. It, the upper Bollinger Band is at 70, is the uh, purple line. As you can see, there's a space between. So this does signal the the, the move is frothy. Um, keep in mind that gaps do fill in penny land, so uh, this gap will be uh, the target for uh, when uh, MGT eventually pulls back. That'll be the, the target and reload zone. Um, if you look down here, you'll see there's uh, giant volume spikes, so there's huge money behind the move. Uh, look at the average daily volume, very, very low. Uh, so, so there's uh, big money behind the move. That That is keeping MGT in play. Um, as you can see, the MACD line is getting super steep. This signals that the, the move is uh, very frothy. When the... Uh, when I say the MACD line is steep like Mount Everest, which is right here, it's completely vertical, double black diamond, uh, that, that's telling you that the, the move is unsustainable. Uh, MGT cannot continue with this, uh, cannot sustain this trajectory forever. It cannot, nothing goes straight up in the stock market. Um, if you look here, that upper wick is forming on today's candle, and that has lowered FASTO. Earlier when we were discussing this uh, stock, it was FASTO was maxed at 100. So uh, that, that did pull back, but if you look up here at RSI, RSI is at 90. 94.32, so very high on RSI. There isn't a lot of juice on RSI and fast dough. So that's something to think about. Okay, so the stock's breaking out. Where, where do you look to find resistance? So what you need to do is look at a weekly chart. And so this is the weekly chart that we posted yesterday. Each candle on this chart represents one week of trading. And as you can see here, there's this uh, nice uh, multi-week run. Currently, MGT is on a six-week run, six green candles in a row, with a giant volume spike this week. Check that out. And uh, the bullish development this week is the move above the 100-day moving average, which is currently at 53. So that that is the key level to turn into support. Um, there, there is... A, a, um, uh, up here as uh, breaking horizontal resistance. As you can see, uh, two of the horizontal resistance levels from uh, back here in uh, 2014 resistance zone have been broken. And now the key level to break is, is uh, right here, the, uh, the close up here in August. Um, that, that's gonna be the next key level to break. A close above that level would put um, this uh, high close in September and 200 day simple moving average on deck. Okay, so, uh, do keep in mind there is a, a, a small uh, gap on the chart here, so there is a space to fill. Okay, so uh, if the, there is a pullback, look at the uh, EMA4 currently at 56 is the key support level to hold on a pullback. What we're looking at is a, a giant volume spike, and so what we want to make sure is that this is not a climax spike. Many times at the top of a run, there's a giant volume spike that's where everybody unloads. So we want to make sure that's not happening. What do you do? How do you trade MGT? What you need to do is follow the intraday charts. They'll tell you if the chart is breaking down or if, it's, if you still want to ride. And uh, currently the 15-minute chart is holding the middle Bollinger Band and his candles are riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher. As long as the, the middle Bollinger Band here currently at 85 support level holds, the uptrend should continue. If the middle Bollinger Band support level breaks, you do not want to be uh, holding. That would, could signal a downside risk. And so, uh, yeah, if you also look down here at MACD, MACD had a, a, a bearish, a bullish crossover after a bearish crossover earlier in the day. So keep an eye out for another uh, bearish crossover. So the key is as long as candles are riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher above the middle Bollinger Band, continue to enjoy the ride. If middle Bollinger Band support breaks in the 15-minute chart, you know the uh, chart is cooling down and to look for a reload lower. Okay, thank you for viewing this chart. Check us out at MyChartCoach.com and our YouTube channel at MyChartCoach.com. Thank you.